All right, here's a, a question in section 4.3 where we are asked to determine the remainder using synthetic division. Uh, doing it for the, these first terms uh, won't be too bad, but this one here with the radical, a little bit more challenging. You've got to get your uh, radical multiplying hats on. Let me just show you how to do it first with one of the small numbers, then we'll try that. So to do synthetic division, you set it up it's x to the fourth minus 16. So I have a 1. And then for the x cubed term, x squared term, and the x term, I need to put in zeros. And then I have a minus 16. So let's try f of 2. So put a 2 on the outside, bring down the 1, and then multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply. Add. 1 times 2 is 2, add, that's 2. Multiply, that's 4, add, 4. 4 times 2 is 8, add, that's 8. 8 times 2 is 16, uh, add, and you get 0. Uh, and so the, if I get in a 0 here, it means the remainder is 0, but it also says f of 2 uh, is um, a 0, uh, but also you could call it an x-intercept. So at uh, 2, 1, 2 right there is an x-intercept for uh, whatever this polynomial looks like. Okay, let's try the same thing with this one here. This one looks a little bit nastier. Okay, so I'll, I'll put my 1, 0, 0, minus 16. Notice I'm giving myself lots of room. And uh, out here I put 1 minus root 2. Okay, okay, here we go. So uh, bring the 1 down. That'll be the easiest part. I think I might do in different colors here. So 1 times minus root 2 is a 1 minus root 2. Yeah, that's good. So 0 plus this will just be 1 minus root 2. Now I've got to multiply this by this, but it's a binomial. Like, let me put it down here. It's 1 minus root 2 times 1 minus root 2. So I'm going to have to FOIL that. So it'll be 1 um, minus root 2 minus another root 2 plus the square root of 4, which is 2. So all together there, I'm going to get 1 plus 2 is 3, and add these together, I get a minus 2 root 2. So that's what goes right here. So this would be 3 minus 2 root 2. Okay, add those, and I get, of course, 3 minus 2 root 2. Now I get the FOIL again. Okay, let's try it. So 1 minus root 2 times... Uh, 3 minus 2 root 2. So to FOIL, 1 would uh, be 3, be minus 2 root 2, and then minus 3 root 2, and then, uh, what would that be? Minus 2 root 4. And root of 4 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, so it would be 3 take away 4, or negative 1, minus 5 root 2. Whew. Okay, add negative 1 minus 5 root 2. Now I get a FOIL again, this one and that one. More negatives. So 1 minus root 2 times negative 1 minus 5 root 2. So when I FOIL that, that's going to be a negative 1 minus 5 root 2. Uh, that'll be plus root 2. And then plus 5 root 4. So 5 root 4, root 4 is 2, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 take away 1 would be 9, I think. 9. Yeah, and then minus 5 root 2 plus 1 root 2 would be minus 4 root 2. Okay, then I add minus 16 plus 9 would be a negative 7, minus 4 root 2. So this here would be your remainder. Interesting kind of question where you have a, a 0 or... A, a function value that you're trying to plug in that isn't just a normal number, it's actually a binomial that includes a radical. Nasty looking one. Loved it.